The feeling of getting older in life and feeling like you're in the same place or feeling like maybe your life has even gotten worse or some aspects of yourself have gotten worse is a very difficult feeling to deal with. And I think sometimes the older you get, the more you can feel like you're missing out on the best years of your life or some great possibility or great dream that's out there for you. But in this video, I thought I would share some simple stories that talk about how quickly you can turn around your life and some strategies to do that. What's up guys, Alex Hine here. So before we jump in, I've put together a free journaling worksheet, companion worksheet to go with this video that will help you figure out what your dream life is and how to design that going forward with journaling. So if that's appealing, check it out right below this video. First things first, there are many iconic, wild achievers that had their success much later in life. So I don't know if you're 18 watching this feeling behind or you're 35 or you're 65, it doesn't really matter because it's all made up. You know, a couple people, like for example, J.K. Rowling of Harry Potter fame. I mean, she was writing her Harry Potter novels and I think the first one that really blew up was in her 30s when she was on welfare with a child. She became one of the world's richest women within a 10 or 15 year window with billions of dollars. Martha Stewart was a stock trader and again, in her 30s, ended up buying this old, I think, 1800s farmhouse with her husband, and as they were renovating it and decorating it, became the Martha Stewart that we know today. And the final person is Stan Lee of the comic empire. Stan was one of the creators of really, and really the inventors behind the superheroes that we know today. And most of his big success started in his 40s. So these people had unusual, crazy success. I'm not talking about just making six figures. Some became billionaires, right? I think both women became billionaires. So you can have this success if that's one of your goals or why you feel behind or more friends or find love really at any phase of your life. You could go even farther and many iconic entrepreneurs were successful in their 60s. But I thought I would share a bit of my own life and I thought I would share in the last five years what things have changed. Mind you, I'm 35. So let's talk about in the last five years, what things have changed because it was about nine years ago where I really got into self-growth and I really became serious about improving my life and I was not gonna leave my dream life up to chance. So in the last five years alone, right? Sounds long, but it's pretty short. I wanna share this, a few changes that have happened and a very powerful quote at the end. So the first was that I completed a doctoral training in my absolute passion, which was acupuncture and Chinese medicine. The thing that helped me the most with my own health issues, far more than traditional medicine. Second thing was, I built this YouTube channel to almost 400,000 subscribers. The third, I wrote two full length books, Master the Day and Milk the Pigeon. And besides the people whose lives have been changed by this, I've heard of people stopping, no longer becoming alcoholics, book clubs sharing my books, some people saying they just bring it with them everywhere they go because it inspires them. I also made way more than six figures in royalties over a two or three year window self-published. Never expected that. From there, I created more than 12 online courses for students. So really interesting self-growth programs that have helped people from fitness to building their own business. I've traveled to more than 15 countries. I got in the best shape of my life with a six pack year round. And I've lived in multiple cities and moved to Los Angeles. So I share all these things because it's reminiscent of a very powerful quote that I think is from Tony Robbins. He says that we tend to overestimate what we can get done in a year, but underestimate what we can get done in five or 10 years. Now, I felt like I was falling behind all these years, right? I was 30, I was, you know, my early 30s was no longer in a serious relationship. I was massively in debt due to grad school. I had no business, right? I started my business really around my late twenties or so. I felt so behind, but I decided that I was not going to worry about feeling behind and I was just going to take action every day, seven days a week. And this is just in a span of five years, what changed. So we think that change is hard or it takes a long time. And maybe five years sounds like forever to you. Maybe you feel like you don't have five years, but all of that for five years, and I'm not that special is something that anyone can do if they're committed to relentless growth and really making each day their masterpiece, mastering the day. And I love this concept that it only takes an hour a day to change your life. Now you might be thinking, well, cool, Alex. Well, if I had 15 hours a day to work towards my goals and I could do that, you might be surprised. I did all of that part-time. 
All of that was with a full-time job for the first three and a half years, and then in a four-year doctoral program working 60 or 70 hours a week. So I did all of this in my evening hours, right? I didn't have all day to work in my business. I didn't have all day to achieve my goals or think. I did it all with a full-time job or doctoral program. So if you are a parent or you are someone with a full-time job, don't think that this is something only childless or young people can do or people who are not in school or who don't have responsibilities. If you're willing to dedicate an hour a day to serious growth, you'd be shocked by what you can achieve in your life. And to not give up, no matter how old you are, if you think 22 and the, the bus is left or 52 and the bus is left, all of that is, is not true because you can find evidence for people reinventing their lives at any point in life. And I think the biggest thing that has helped me has being dedicated to relentless growth and acquiring valuable skills. So one company I've partnered with here is Skillshare, a service that I've used many, many times throughout the years and something that has helped me upgrade my life become 1% better every day. Check out all of the online learning communities and programs that Skillshare has with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics like illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. So take, for example, this course called DIY Filming that I went through. It really helped me, number one, figure out how to really storyboard my video in a much more strategic way versus just being a teacher, as well as how to properly prep a short but sweet kind of highlight reel, as well as edit it, put it together, and really polish it to be a much, much better presented piece of content. So Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level. Members get unlimited access to thousands of these different kinds of classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions of people. Now the classes are usually under an hour and they have short lessons to help you fit any schedule. But I would definitely go ahead and check out some of the topics that you might like. Now before you guys go, check out the special deal that Skillshare has put together right below this video, the first link there for a limited number of students. That's a special package just for Modern Health Monk viewers and something that will help you quite a lot on your journey and your quest to be 1% better.